CVA's Acura Series, Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being sponsored by Tri-Green Equipment. Stop in and see them at 21 locations in Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee. They can take care of all your Honda, Steel, and John Deere needs. Alrighty, everybody, this segment is being sponsored by Courtney's Restaurant and Catering. Y'all can find them at 4066B North Mount Juliet Road in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, or give them a call at 615-754-7548 and let them take care of all your catering or delivery needs. They've got pickup. You can go up there and do a pickup at the front. I, you know at the front door there now and and so any way you want to go up there whether you want to go and dine in carry out they'll bring it to you and deliver it give Courtney's a call and they'll get you taken care of yeah I was sort of looking at the cutting board and I kind of hoping he would be here <laughs> they <laughs> always bring some good things they, they do I, I've always enjoyed going there you know we we eat there a lot you mm -hmm. know people see us in there and they'll come and talk to us and and they recognize us from the show but you know we talk about Courtney's a lot we eat there a lot yeah. we really do so it's it is really good stuff and we're, we're proud to have them on board with us. Uh, Mike, well, you know we've been talking with different people, had a caller earlier from East Tennessee. There's different phases to the run and a lot of times they're very misunderstood. They are. Um, and also I wanted to emphasize there is no book out there that says it starts on this day in this part of Tennessee. What's that biggest you know, question? Can, say, what week is the rut this yeah. week? Yeah. It's hard to say it, what to say. No yeah. You know, you're going to you're going to have what a lot of people will consider they think is the peak or or it's because they see the most action mm -hmm. during what is really the the pre-rut. And that's when your two-year-olds especially, a lot of your three-year-old bucks, but your two-year-olds especially and your year-and-a-half-old bucks, they're running around like crazy. You're constantly seeing them. They're pestering does. Your does can't come out and feed in the field because as soon as they come out, these bucks are out there pushing them around to pester them. A lot of that's going on right now. Right. Um, a, lo a lot of the chasing, but what starts to happen is your, your big deer, just, just like we had on the farm yesterday, you know the way the, the way that it works. Those little ones do all the chasing, and the big deer, when it comes time to actually quarter, he, he's going to be there. Yeah. He's going to be the one and, that's there. And you'll know when that really starts too from those little bucks, because no. that little buck's going to leave that field when that big buck hits the field somewhere. Yeah, that's he right. knows it's on. It does, yeah. and, and yeah. so that puts the bigger deer into what I call kind of the. They don't so much chase as they do cruise. Mm -hmm. and and they observe so a lot of times if you're watching a bunch of does in a field right now you want to hunt does you know it don't I, I'm not big on the trails or the the scrapes and the rubs I love to see all that sign but if I know where the does are feeding right now that is where I'm going to be those sitting. are the best decoys but, you can buy you know don't necessarily look for him to just come walking out in the middle of the field yeah. because if there's not a doe out there that's receptive he is probably going to circle the downwind side of that field he's going to check it so whatever mm -hmm. the downwind side is keep your eyes on that corner he's going to check it if he don't you know see or, or smell anything he's going to go on to the next field that's and right. they'll come around and check it so that's kind of the next phase that'll be going on and that's going to be going on in my area anyhow for the next week or two and that's one of the best times to catch him on his toes a deer that you usually wouldn't catch on his toes and you'll have surprise deer show up you've been watching your cameras all summer right now it's when that big buck shows up that's been living three miles down the road and you've never seen him all of a sudden he's standing in your field so a lot of that's going on now in a few weeks mike for us about the 20 20th to 25th of November. I always yeah. say Black Friday is one of my very favorite days of the year to be in the woods. At that point, our deer are locked down. Now, you'll think your deer have abandoned the farm, they're gone, there's nothing running around, nothing. But if you do catch him in that phase, it's probably, in my opinion, the most killable mature buck of the whole year. He is because not paying is, any attention to no, you. No, he's not, no. and he's not going to leave the area. If you can figure out that he is there with the doe, it's just like the, the uh, big deer that I got last year that we aired here on the show. Right. I caught that deer with a doe two days before that. We knew that he was in the area, and we set up on either end of him, you know, within a thousand yard difference probably or so of, of where he was in between us. And we knew that eventually he was gonna slip up and come out of there, and he did. Um, so once you catch them in that phase, they're not going anywhere anytime soon, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's a, it's a good time. It, it can feel tough then because you're not seeing as many deer, but at the same time, if you do see one, it's very likely to be what you're wanting and, to see. And you might get deer right now, like you were saying, that's 
that's three miles down the road that yeah. roll around that you may never see again. Yeah. Either. Yeah, he and, might be and, there two days. You and know, that's you it. go, oh, wow, here's this deer. I'm going to yeah. hunt this deer real hard. Well, he's, he's gone. gone. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, he's gone. They'll get out of there as quick as they get in there. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, guys, we're going to get ready to take another quick break. We'll be back here in just a minute with some more Southern Wizard Waters.